Okay, so this is 286. Um, we're given this uh, uh, connecting rod here, and we're looking for the length of A to B here. So this connecting rod, A to B. And uh, we're supposed to use Cartesian vectors, and this is going to be a position vector here. Um, so to create a position vector from A to B, we must know the coordinates of each of these things, A and B. So let's work on point A. Point A's coordinates in the x direction, it's going to be negative, right? So it's negative. And if we know that this is 150 millimeters, we know it's going to, and this is 30 degrees, so the projection of that on the x-axis there is negative 150 cosine 30 degrees, and that's the x. And then the y direction of A, it's also going to be negative, right? Negative downward. And the y direction is going to be not cosine, but sine. Sine 30 degrees. Okay. And now uh, we don't have a z component, so we can move on to point B. Point B is here, and uh, x is easy, it lays it's right on the y-axis here, so x is 0, and y is 300 millimeters upward, okay, or, I'm, nope, yeah, 300 millimeters upward, yeah, 300, so 300, okay, so 0 and 300 for point B, okay, so if you remember how to create a position vector, let's position vector from A to B is going to be XB minus XA and that's going to be the I direction and then we have plus uh, YB minus YA in the J direction and then in the Z direction we have ZB minus ZA in the K direction. Alright so um, from A to B, right, so we start with the ending point and we subtract the initial point. So ending initial, and it's the same way all the way through. So in the X direction here, we have uh, point B is zero, and then we have minus a negative 150 cosine 30, so, so that's going to be in the I direction. And then in, uh, for the J direction, let's make sure we separate these two. So that's the I direction. And then in the J direction, what do we have? So point B is 300. And then we subtract off uh, the Y, which is negative 150 sine 30 degrees and that's the J direction. All right, so performing all this, um, we have the vector from A to B and I left off the Z, we don't have any Z in this, pro this problem. The vector from A to B is 129.9 I and 375J. Both positive, and if you take a look at that, right, that should seems right, right? From A to B, we should be moving positive in the X direction and positive in the Y direction. Okay, so we have that. So what is the length? So to find the magnitude of this, we just do the sum of the squares and take the square root of that. So we have 129.9 squared uh, plus 375 squared, and then the square root of that thing and that's 397 millimeters and that is our answer that is our answer for 286